one in four applicants passes the entrance examination. It's competitive, but for these boys, it's the equivalent of a university education. We are students. When we graduate, we'll all be lieutenant colonels. Oh, no, I mean lieutenants. One stripe, two stars. One reason is joining the army solves my career problem. You see, being a soldier in our socialist country is also a profession, and that's what I've chosen to do. When I was in high school and preparing to apply to universities, I wanted to apply to this military academy. We come from different family backgrounds, some peasants, some soldiers, some workers. We're all from many different types of families. And as for me, I was born into a military family and was brought up amongst troops. I've always had contact with the military. Since I was a kid, I saw my uncles, aunts, brothers and sisters wearing military uniforms, and I really felt that was an honor. So since I was young, I've always wanted to join the army when I grew up. Becoming an officer in the PLA is now a career choice rather than a reward for years of service. There may be more money down on the farm, but for these peasant boys, this education is a stepping stone to privilege and power. Well, there are four of us in the family. Dad, Mom, my elder brother, and myself. Uh, my dad works in the factory. My mom works on the land in the village. My brother is also in the army, and I'm here in the academy. My brother and I joined the army in the same year. I joined through sitting for the higher education exam. He just joined directly. Mum is still working on the farm at home. We have three quarters of an acre of land. She looks after the house, the trees, and everything like that. It's been said that the best time to attack China would be between the hours of one and three in the afternoon. This is the time devoted to Shushi, when everyone enjoys their siesta. The PLA is no exception. After all, it's enshrined as a right in Article 49 of the Chinese Constitution. It's the only free time in the working week. On Sundays, you might go into town, but even there, restrictions apply. You can spend the extra money mum and dad send, but you can't go to the disco, and girls are off limits. The discipline is relentless. There's no lying on your bunk during the day. If you want to rest, the barrack room table is the place. Why did I join the army? First, I wanted to safeguard the motherland. Second, joining the army can strengthen my physique. And thirdly, it can temper one's willpower and character. That's very useful for the future. And that's the point. These trainees will join China's great elite. A senior officer in the PLA can expect the best of everything. Free housing, a car, a driver, a servant, orderly, and the best food from military farms. There's a network of connections to give him and his family a status that money can't buy. Even if Chen Hong returns to civilian life, his army experience and connections are the best guarantee for influence and success. The important thing is to toe the line. Killing others. Well, if it's for the sake of justice, we should always defeat the devils. Anyone that initiates unjust war should be punished appropriately. As I'm fighting for justice, I should kill and defeat the enemies. This is good for the country and the people. Therefore, it is still very necessary to kill the enemies. What did you score? Actually, the bullet went that way. 
but I didn't take aim because I couldn't see the target properly. I hit about the eight-point ring. I'm writing a letter to my mother. I'm talking about our family's wheat and corn. But also, I want to know how the furniture turned out. So I write a letter. I couldn't manage to write every day. I write once a fortnight. It's 10 o'clock. Lights out at Xi Jiajuang. Thank you. 